So this is another short video that relates to Howard Schubiner's little tests that he used clinically. This is looking at uh, someone who has a painful area. Think of persistent pain, so it's a painful area. And firm pressure, he's gonna test it in uh, a way that might point to it being driven by the brain. Again, let's pick this part of the trap so I can demonstrate. And it's currently painful. Then firm pressure of that, if it was based on damage, if you think of this very logically, how if something's damaged and you press on it, it would normally hurt more. With persistent pain in some patients, that firm pressure actually takes the pain away or it feels nice. Or some people might describe it like nice pain. When it happens, that's real strong evidence that the brain is driving that pain because it doesn't follow that logical um, pathway of when something's when tissue is damaged and you press on it it hurts more now i'll do another video on when you push on it and it does hurt more because that isn't confirming that persistent pain is due to structural damage but i'll do a separate video on that another time if you look out for that so just to recap what we're doing here is someone has constant pain persistent pain it's uh, a painful area of the body and firm pressure takes that pain away or it feels nice that is their brain that is really strong evidence that their brain is generating that pain the more pieces of evidence you build up present that back to the patient in a way that maybe starts to, to create that shift for them to understand what the true cause of their pain is and how you can help them reverse it.